I'd like to start out um, just by wishing UNC um, and the Kraft family. I had a terrible loss over the weekend with Ty Lee, and uh, I know he's been battling cancer. Our thoughts and prayers go out to their family, their team. Uh, it's way bigger than football. When you talk about losing a student athlete to a battle like that. And uh, that was the first thing I saw when I came off the field walking into the locker room was that up on the monitor in our coach's locker room. It's just perspective. Um, so thoughts and prayers go out to Coach Brown, his staff, and their team. Um, with regard to our game, before I talk about it, I would like to thank our fans. I thought the atmosphere was awesome. It was great to have a night game again. And uh, appreciate you. You were into the game. Uh, crowd noise, fanfare, students, our admin, uh, our staff, our players, our student athletes, our recruiting efforts, all of it all tied into one. I thought it was an awesome night uh, from a fan standpoint. I appreciate that. So thank you. Uh, regarding the game, you know, losing by a score after turning the ball over three times in the red zone and missing um, what I would consider a, a very makeable field goal early in the game, it's tough to swallow lose, uh, losing games like that. I, I'm proud of how we fought back. It was a valiant comeback effort in the fourth quarter. Can I argue the competitive spirit of our football team? Um, but you can't win games turning the ball over in the red zone, which I talked about after the game. And we're turning the ball over too much. I mean, we lead the ACC in turnovers. And so it's the first thing that has to get fixed. If we want to win games, we got to stop beating ourselves in that manner. Um, I thought CJ threw the ball around, made some really good plays. You know, had some plays that he can do better. You know, he was more accurate, threw the deep ball better. I had a chance for a connection on the second play of the game with Dakari that you know, we should have caught. Thought we moved the ball well. We only punted one time in the football game, and we were explosive for the number of plays we had. You know, Syracuse did a good job keeping the ball away. A lot of extended drives, which is another conversation for our defense. But it was good to see offensively us move the ball the way we did. Um, some explosive plays with Noah, Hollywood, Casey, Jolie, Dakari, um, Dante, Daniels had a really nice play. So some positives, you know, but it doesn't overcome three turnovers in the red zone and, and our third down success still not good enough on third and long. You know, on defense, uh, not having Caden Fordham does hurt. I, I did think we played really hard, kept us in the game, uh, defended the, the run well on first and second down, with the exception of two plays where we were in a, a light box against the passing formation. They caught us twice. We had 12 plays in their backfield. We had two fourth down stops. And on the negative side, we did not do well on third down. Our, our standard is 70% effective, and we weren't. We were 50. A lot of third and mediums that we just didn't make plays on the ball, and, and their guys did. Their quarterback was very accurate, and their receivers caught the ball well, tight ends. We did not take the ball away. There was 40-plus passes by their quarterback. We had no interceptions. And that's an area we've been really good. And so – you know, to win games, we got to be good where we're good, and, and we weren't in that area. You know, special teams-wise, our operation, um, I didn't think the snap was great. You know, Caden could have got the laces spun and didn't, and we missed that first field goal, which would have been, you know, they scored a field goal in their first possession. We would have matched that, and it's disappointing when you drive down with the ball and don't get a, a, a score on a drive that we should. I think Kanoa is kicking the ball well for us, and we've got to do a better job. Uh, with that operation, with our snapper hold and kick. Uh, that's twice now we've missed this year on that. You know, on to our next opponent, you know, a long road trip to California uh, to play Cal Berkeley. Very competitive team. They've lost three one-possession games in a row. Uh, down to the wire, had Miami up 35-7. You know, that was a hard one for them to swallow. I'm really impressed with their defense. I think, you know, Justin Wilcox is a very good football coach. And uh, we didn't work together at Wisconsin, but worked with a lot of the same people there. And I know a lot of people think very highly of them. Um, I really like watching their two linebackers, number 10 and number zero play. They're good football players, man. They're active. They can run. They hit. Make a lot of plays in their defense. They're playing hard.
and uh, they do a nice job on defense. They lead the league in turnover margin, and uh, they don't turn the football over offensively, and they've created a bunch of takeaways on defense. You know, on offense, they've had a lot of injuries, and uh, we'll see who's back. Obviously, their tailback was an all-conference player for them in the Pac-12 last year. He's one of the best career-rushing players they've had in school history. And he was out last week, so I don't know what his status is, but he's a really good player. Uh, Ott, if he's back for them, they're tight ends, a good player. He has a bunch of receptions, two-year starter, a quarterback, more of a pocket passer. Um, tight ends done a good job for him in their past game. And, and it's more about us. You know, we got to do a better job of finishing games. We got to do a better job taking care of the football, getting the turnover margin the way it needs to be. Um, and continue to play really hard, which we've done at times and not consistently enough to win and build off the fourth quarter we just had and keep swinging. You know, we've had our share of adversity you know, with injuries, obviously, losing Caden for the year, losing our quarterback. Um, and, you know, some tough calls on the field. So you have to overcome a lot of things. And it's just the next man up, keep battling, knowing that if you do that, if you stay the course, if you work hard, you don't give in, and you keep fighting, which is part of what we do at NC State, good things happen. And, and I do like what our guys are saying, how they're responding. We are on fall break, so it's nice for the guys to have a couple days without classes to get some extra sleep and, and recover. I said this earlier in the year, this is the longest I've ever gone without a bye week. We're in our eighth straight game, and the, the soreness, the the rigor of football, it does add up. And so it's good timing to have a couple of days here where they can sleep a little bit and uh, not have to get in the building so early. But for us, you know, playing well and, and learning um, how to win, uh, it starts with learning how not to lose, you know. And uh, beating yourself is the fastest way to lose a football game. And I think we've learned the hard way just how precious winning is and how hard it is to win football games, man. When, you, when you're used to it and you start taking that stuff for granted, sometimes the football gods come back and remind you how hard it really is to win a game. And so our guys have learned that, our staff, our players, we've learned that the hard way. And so we can't take winning for granted. We can't take how to win for granted. The precious details, the, the value of field position and turnover margin and there's four to five plays in the course of over 150 in a game that really dictate the outcome. And you never know when those four or five plays are going to happen. And so, you know, it's been a tough season so far. I look forward to the finish, and this is a big one. Get on the road, try to get a win here before our bye week and uh, a needed bye week, and then two games, bye week, two games. So, you know, an important venture out to California. And I'm glad we're playing an early game for that, that part of it. I am excited about it. We'll have a chance to get home probably at 2 or 3 in the morning on Sunday.